I can't. I know I can't. Yeah, okay, you can't do it. What is what is the line? Do it. I don't know what the line is. Just make it up. I no, I can't. I know Try. I can't. No. I want to hear no. what it sounds like. No. Do it. I can't do, do it. it. I can't do, do it. Do it. I can't. Do it. I can't. Do it. I can't. Do it. <laughs> you did good. Do I it. already heard you say it. Do it. <laughs> it's like Look, look at me, Morty. I turn myself into a pickle. I can't. That's him. And then what's the what's the big line? Pickle way. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Howdy Radio, the Next Generation, episode seventeen. I'm Brandon. I'm Lane. What's up, man? How are you? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm tired. I'm kind of tired, also kind of not tired. Yeah, this is like our last weekend before school starts, so I really don't want to do anything this whatsoever. Should, this should be the last day I'm allowed to stay up. That should be a rule. I'm, can I pull an all-nighter? No. Okay, now all-nighter, but I can stay up for a little while. You can stay up till 10 o'clock. That's not a while. I think that's plenty of while. You wouldn't, okay. Unless you want to play Fire Pro, that's how you always get to stay up later if you well, play Fire Pro with me. So you weren't talking about Fire Pro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we got a few things to talk about this week, but nothing really major. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age, their new album, Villains, leaked. So I have, of course, listened to it multiple times. Lane's shaking his head, because this week I learned how against music piracy that Lane was. We'll talk about that later. So the new album's out, so we'll talk about it for a little bit. Uh, Back to School's coming up this week. Starts on Monday, so we'll talk about that for a minute. And we got a couple video game things to talk about as well, so let's do it. So one of my favorite bands that are still currently a band making music, or really just one of my favorite bands of all times, Queens of the Stone Age, have a new album coming out on August 25th called Villains. Which we have talked about... Yeah, we told when they announced it on the thing. 11. We, I think we talked about it the first time we did a live show. All right. We reviewed, <laughs> uh, we reviewed the single when it came out. So it comes out August 25th, but it leaked this week. And me being the pirate that I have been all of my life, I downloaded it as soon as I found it. It was a little harder to find this time than it used to be, but then it was finally just on the pirate bay, so I just got it off of there. So, Lane was like, no, you should wait to listen to it when it comes out and listen exactly to it on Spotify how, it and stuff. It was exactly how um, Gorillaz was when yeah. when their new album, what's Humans, Yeah. when their new album came out. Yeah, they all. I mean, they all leak, most of them. It used to be all of them. Now, they don't quite all leak like they used to, but... I mean, the last Queens of the Stone Age album came out. It leaked a couple weeks early, and I knew it by heart by the time the album... Which one? Like Clockwork? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I knew every word on the album before the actual date that it came out, before I went to the store and bought the record. So Lane somehow is against music piracy, which I don't understand, because we use things like Plex, which has a bunch of illegally downloaded movies on it and stuff, and it's just... The only ugh. thing I understand is, why do we talk about this socially? I don't I mean, the people that are listening, I'm not worried about them turning me into the FBI. So, oh well, it is what it is. Everybody does it. Who cares? So, Lane's like, no, you shouldn't listen to it. Wait until, and I was like, no, I, I have the new Queens of the Stone Age album ready for listening, so of course I'm going to listen to it right now. I'll still go buy it at the record store the day that it comes out. They'll still get money from me. I just bought tickets to go see them in Columbus uh, earlier today. So I support the artist. They get a lot of my money. So I have zero problem downloading and listening to their album early. It harms nobody. That's the way I see it. it, it so it does though. How? How so? Spotify. You pay to uh-huh. listen to music on Spotify. How does this but affect you, that? I still pay my Spotify bill yeah. every month. But how does this change that? Isn't it like they get paid even more when like you listen don't don't they pay the artist more when you have like listened to them a lot or yeah the more the band the, gets listened yeah. to the more the band gets paid so if you already have listened to it you won't want to listen to it 
that you much. You really think that once the album no. actually comes out and it's on Spotify that I'm just not going to listen to it I'm anymore? Not, but you won't listen to it as much because you've already heard it so many times. I, I find that to be not completely... it's not like clockwork. It's completely... <laughs> that's a completely ridiculous statement. Whatever. And regardless... The amount of times that I listen to them, whether it be five times I listen to the album or a million times that I listen to the album, only puts about a quarter in Queens of the Stone Age pockets anyway because of the way that Spotify pays the artists. They pay them next to nothing. So that's just how it goes. Bands don't make money off of releasing music anymore. Bands make money off of touring, selling merch, and a lot of them do it with sponsorships and stupid crap like that. So that's just the music industry nowadays. Regardless... What do you think of the new Queens of the Stone Age album? I've only listened to, like, two or three songs. I haven't legit, like, listened to them, okay. but you've turned it on. Mostly it sounds like you just want to throw it in my face. Okay, so do you do you like what you've heard so far? Yes, I like what I've heard so far. Yeah. I, uh, it's a lot different. It's very, very different than anything else they've released before. We it's, were just listening to Wait It All, and yeah. now that I've heard a couple of songs from the new album... And now, like, I listen to Rated R and, like, Clockwork today. Yeah. Um, well, it's like Rocket League. Um, it's so different from the stuff that I've heard already yeah. than to those older albums. Yeah. It is more poppy. I mean, everybody kind of knew that it was going to be a little bit more poppy going into it. Um, I mean, Queens have had, like, some pretty heavy stuff in the past. And there really is nothing pretty heavy about this album one whatsoever. Song about everybody shooting people and how she gonna shoot your girlfriend on the new album no not on the new album um oh. like clockwork what song are you referring to six on clock- shooter that's, that's not song. on like clockwork oh that's, that's on um sorry for the dead yeah sorry for death sorry what's your favorite queens of the stone age album that's like clockwork yeah that's everybody it's well, like tied with like clockwork and songs for the death yeah it's really really close yeah <laughs> So this album, the new album, completely different sounding. The intro is really, really good. The first song on it. Is there not like, an actual intro intro? It's got like a two minute build up at the beginning of the song. It's like but it's not these, just silence? No. It's <laughs> it's like this weird, like there's strings going on in the background and then like these synthesizers just, and just like weird sounds. And then that kind of like morphs into like this, the opening riff of the album that's like two minutes in. Which is, it's like impossible to not like bob your head to that riff. It's really good. And then it goes into the lead single, which is one of my least favorite songs on the album. I don't particularly care for the single at the moment. It's not that great. And then there's a couple weird songs on it. There's some stuff that sounds like, almost like old disco music a little bit. (laughs) Is that a bad thing or a good thing though? It's fine. I'm getting used to it. I think I like it. But we've been listening to a lot of like older like 80s and 70s music a lot. Yeah. Because Tyler has sh- the new Chicago thing yeah. now. So we've been listening to a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah. And there's uh, there's one song on it called Fortress. And uh, I think it's the weirdest Queen song yet. It's like, I think it's the poppiest song yet. And it's just the... He's singing about like his feelings being locked in a box or something, and like just the presentation of it is kind of weird. Does it sound dark though? Like are the lyrics dark? I think they might be. I haven't really I dove on, into. I'll be right back. What are you doing? I need to turn on lights. It's really dark. Okay. I haven't really dove into lyrics yet. I haven't quite got there, except for, <laughs> except for the last song on the album. I kind of figured out and listened to all the lyrics of that one, and that one's really cool. I like the last song is it a dark? lot. Yeah, it's got okay. some darkness. So it's able to be, so the lyrics are able to be dark, but the sound's able to be poppy. I think. To some I of think it, yeah. if you listen to most of it, I think mm-hmm. that's what's happening because they. Yeah, I agree. They've always. It's still been, a Queens of the Stone Age. They've album. always been kind of light and dark, like kind of at the same mm-hmm. time. Like right. with Wait It All, it wasn't completely dark like like Hawkwood was. Yeah. It was like dark and light yeah, with totally. the sound. Yeah, totally. So yeah. I think that's how they're trying to do this. They don't want to just go to the pop side. Yeah. And it is still Queens of the Stone Age, so there, there is still those themes throughout yeah. it. But like like Clockwork, that one, there was no pop about that. It was just the dark. Yeah, that that was like... as like one bes- of the besides, darkest albums besides ever. Besides like, like all your like... Like Sailing, like that was yeah. about one of the only just jams on it. That's the, that's the first song, right? No, that's like sure. eight songs in, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um. Oh my goodness, I can't think what the first song is called. No, don't tell me. Keep talking. 
Okay. So I'm, I'm getting used to the new album. Like, I mean, I don't have like a one out of 10 rating for it because it's just, it takes a while for me to kind of consume a new album like okay, this. I'm this really is stupid. What is it called? The first song on like clockwork yeah. is keep your eyes peeled. Oh, I, I'm dumb. Yeah. <laughs> So, I'm getting used to it. It's a completely different sound. Like, I mean, it's it's not going to beat li- beat their last album, like Clockwork. Yeah. It's just not going to, but that's fine. I don't it doesn't then, need to. And then last night we were talking about them Crooked Vultures. Yeah. We were talking about how um I asked is them Crooked Vultures ever going to do anything? And then what what did you say? I forget what you even said. Uh they said that they were going to make a second album and then it never happened. So, and since it's it's Dave Grohl, um, Josh, what's his last name? Josh Homme. Josh Homme, and then who was the third guy? John Paul Jones, who the bass player of Led Zeppelin. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's, so a, like, that's a good combination. the biggest combination. band in the world. Yeah. yeah. Um, and since Foo Fighters are making a new album, and Twitch of Stone Age were making a new album, they were in, like, the same area they were like right next to each other in like a sound booth so my theory is that once they're done what you said once they're done with that they're gonna do something but i think they were done with that before this album came out and they're already now doing stuff and like they were doing stuff now so right after like in this like summer of next year it'd be like boom it's it we recorded it after this one was done, yeah. before we even told you guys it was done, yeah. boom, now it's done. That'd be cool with me. Them Crooked Vultures, like, they're, out of the last decade, I think the two best albums that have come out in the last decade, one of them is Queens of the Stone Age Like Clockwork, and the other is the self-titled Them Crooked Vultures album. And both of them are Josh Homme albums. So You really like um, Josh Homme. I almost, I almost called yeah, him John I mean, Homme. Yeah, he's... <laughs> He's one of the best guys going in rock and roll right now. That's all there is to it. There isn't a whole lot of that kind of rock and roll, like, still around right now. It's, so. it's weird because I put the new songs, and, like, I remember, like, like Clockwork and Songs for the Deaf. Like, these, uh, like his voice sounds really different. Like, not mm-hmm. lower, just his voice sounds different in, like, he sings, all songs. He sings so much high-pitched stuff now. Yeah, it's, it's but it's, like, so weird. Because how old is he? He's in, like, his late 30s. He's, like, no, he's, yours, no, right? he's older than he's. Probably oh, about 50 or so. Then how is his voice not so low? Yeah. How does he make his voice go that high? I'm so Because he's a confused. really good vocalist. He's a very yeah, good well, singer. Yeah. I'm not saying he isn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that's the reason. And But as Queens have gone on, he's like got higher with the pitch of his voice yeah. a lot. And that kind of started with like clockwork. And then the one well, was Six Shooter. Like, Do you remember that yeah. actual song? Like... I never, like, if I look at him, I never thought that he could make that, those, like, yeah. how he just does it, like, how he yells. Yeah. Like, it does not look like he would make those voices. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so weird. And he's just one of the best guitarists out there now. I love him as a guitarist. His solos are weird and crazy and just so distorted, and he does a lot of harmonic stuff and pitch shift stuff, and he's, he's one of my favorite guitarists. I love the way that he plays. So we'll uh, we'll let the new album sink in for another week or two, and then I'll I'll give you a one out of ten review. But I can't do it right now. I just can't. I'm still just getting used to it all. So go download it um, off the Pirate Bay and listen to it. Don't encourage people to do that. That's not a good idea. And then buy it when it comes out. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> all right. So. I go to school two days from now on Monday. First day of school, Monday. Yes, and I will go into sixth grade. Sixth grade. So entirely. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Are you nervous? Kind of. Yeah. Don't. I um, mean, don't lie. I mean, don't have to. Yeah, I, I am. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but it was really funny because when we were doing our school supply kits, Miss Simonson is her name, Dad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she said hi, and then I was like hi, and then she said, "Am I excited to go back to school?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then she said, oh, I really wanted to do a say no because everybody else is saying no. But I, I like school. Yeah. I, so this I, is your yeah. last year at this building. Yes. You've been in this building since fourth grade. Correct. So this is your third year. Yes. And this is, so now you're the top dogs of the school. Does that mean you get, like, more to eat for lunch? Or, like, no, you that get means to go I'll to the lunch line first? That means I'll be starving for a while. Why do you eat because, last? Yeah. <laughs> That sucks. So we're going to be packing a lot because I don't think my stomach can hold that long. <laughs> I'll be very hungry. Oh, whatever. You don't eat nothing I... ever anyway. 
Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so, I, I do. so what uh, what privileges does being the top dog in the school give you? Um, showing that we have to be role models, as the teachers say. But mm-hmm. when you're sixth grade, everybody just turns into an even bigger butt munches. So it's not a good role model. I think it's they are more butt munches. So the younger kids are like, oh, I'm supposed to be like that. So then they become butt munches. And then it's just the circle of life. It's the circle of butt munch. Yep. It's the circle of munch. So Comma weird. butts. <laughs> so weird. So you don't get, like, extra recess. You don't get, no. like, you don't get no privileges for being the last kids in the school. Nope. When I was a kid, when I was in the sixth grade, um, I got my recess taken away from me my sixth grade year. And I was so upset. Like, this is my last Why? year. They, uh, so my school was set up where it was, uh, kindergarten through sixth grade all yeah. in one building. And then you went to the high school. So I only went to two different schools. I went elementary all the way up to sixth grade. And then the junior high and the high school was all in the same building that they just tore down like a week or yeah. two ago. Uh, but the, so it was sixth grade. It was my last year at the elementary school and they thought it would be a good way to transition us into the high school because when you get to the high school, you don't get recess anymore. Yeah. So they're like, well, the sixth graders, we're going to take away their recess to help them better transition into high school. <laughs> and I'm like, why can't we just have recess for one more year? <laughs> yeah. Why do you, we don't need the transition of yeah. not having recess. They're just going to take it away next year. That's why did you stupid. take it away? Sure. So my sixth grade year, I didn't have recess. That is really that. dumb. It was really, really dumb. <laughs> well, guess what? I have recess. Yeah. So. <laughs> Not only do you have recess, this year you don't have a gym in your school. Yeah. Because they've started uh, tearing some stuff down. They're doing some remodel we to have, the school. We have legit no gym. There's no like, gym. It's just yeah. gone. They, they ripped it down wanna, also a couple weeks ago. I, I want to see, like, as this year, I want to see, because they'll be still building the gym, though, right? I'm not sure when the actual building of the I gym think they're starts. Gonna, I think they're building this year until next year. Yeah. I they'll think be building right. for a year, and then it will be done yeah. once I'm gone. Which so no gym for you this year. No so gym at all. We got a thing from... No, that's not true. Not no gym at all. They, I mean, the physical yeah, the gymnasium physical gym is, is not mean. there. But we got an email from the gym teacher that said, like, hey, you know, obviously we've got a weird year this year because we don't have a gym. So we plan on going outside for gym. So at least you get, like, an extra outside time until it gets cold. Then you'll start doing stuff inside probably. Yeah. But that's cool that you end up with an extra outside time since you don't have the gym. Yep. So what are you looking forward to the most this year? Um, the egg drop and band. Ooh, the egg drop is cool. Tell them what the egg drop is. So the egg drop, it, I, I, I like these kind of things, like, because in other things with its projects, you just go into the computer, print out a couple of things, and put it on a piece of paper. I don't like those things. That's not a project. Yeah. A project is when you go home and actually build something and then yeah. show it off to the class. So what's so, the egg so drop? So the egg drop is you, you have one egg and you... Put it inside your little the structure, I guess, mm-hmm. to try to drop it from each story of the building to see if it doesn't crack open the egg. So you come up with some type of container to put the egg in that has some type of parachute to drop it off of either Can the first Can we just put a parachute story. on it? I mean, there's... <laughs> no, a, you can't. You yeah, can't. I think it has to be able to absorb... Yeah. The landing is that, opposed. That's, that's yeah. what you're supposed to do. It's yeah. supposed to be science and you absorb yeah. all the force. Yeah. So which I know how crack. to do. Yeah. You just put like bu- a bunch of bubble wrap. That would make it not pop. You okay. could legit just not even put it in a container. You just wrap the whole entire egg in bubble wrap. There's probably rules against that like, to just, make it a little like, bit. Like just two roll, like two pounds of bubble wrap. Can you just buy me two pounds of bubble wrap? When that happens, just mm. wrap the whole entire egg. No, I want you to get more creative than that. It's so what else? Still so two pounds of bubble wrap. So you're looking forward to that. <laughs> and, and banned. And banned. What are we doing with this trumpet? So uh, we've, we've got to figure this stuff <laughs> yeah, out. We have still. to figure this out because we start banned at the end of this week. That's okay. when we actually start, like... Um, not learning, but just like they show us the basics. Yeah. Not, not, not like you don't really get to play. They just gotcha. show us yeah. 
This is what happens in band. This is what you don't do in band. So band starts in sixth grade yes. in our little town. So I started in fifth grade, which I find to be so and you, weird. And you also went to Camp Cullen twice in fifth grade yeah, and sixth grade. That's true, too. But I find it weird that, like, with at the school I went to, you start in fifth grade in band, and our band sucked. And... The Deer Park band kinda, starts in was, sixth grade, it was but they're depressing. really good. At, in the marching band, when we went to the football game and wedding, that was kind of depressing. There were like only like five people. Yeah, it, well, like, it wasn't that like was that when sad. we were when I was in the band. There was considerably more than that. It was, but not the size of Deer Park. No, not the size of yeah. Deer Park, but still a good sized band. Yeah. It was not. not it was not people. like the sad five people on yeah. the field. That was type like thing. No. legit, really, really sad. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially they for me, because that's where, that's where I met my wife and all that. That was when you did the snap story of of you guys. Remember that? Yeah, that's where that's where it all started. So, you've, so you're excited for band. Yes. So you're following in your parents' footsteps and following in your brother's footsteps of being a band nerd. And you're playing trumpet. Yes. We're hoping, I guess. Yes, since I we am don't, playing trumpet. Since we don't have a trumpet, and we haven't quite got that figured out yet. Hopefully you're playing trumpet. We should probably figure that out today or tomorrow. We yeah. Should, because on Monday, I don't, like, need an instrument, but, like, they're probably going to say something yeah. about So band. why trumpet? Why are you playing trumpet? Because you guys are forcing me to play trumpet. <laughs> what do you want to play? Clarinet or trumpet. And then tell, tell my mom, we're like, no, you aren't playing clarinet. You're playing trumpet. Yeah, I'd like for you to play trumpet. That'd be pretty cool. That's what I played. Tyler's playing get... what Liz played. You play what I play. That's how we should do it. We can have a band. And the trumpets are the best. That's, that's all I'm just to. not going to be a butt munch kid when I'm a trumpet. That's I wasn't most... a butt munch kid when I was a trumpet. You're a butt munch guy now. No, but then I wasn't. <laughs> are you sure? Is that what it is? Is like, Are the trumpet kids yeah. the bad kids? They're not the bad kids, but like... They turn into butt munches because they think they're amazing. You think everybody's no, butt munches. No, they turn into, like, I'm super popular and I'm better than all you guys. You say those words on a daily Shh. basis. You were just <laughs> screaming them into the microphone on the Xbox a few minutes ago. When? You're screaming, oh, I'm a god. I am a god. <laughs> because it's I am a, a god. They keep so you're a I'm, butt munch no. already, so that's why you should play trumpet. But, no, because I saved a really good goal and I saved the rest of the game and then I scored a really good goal right afterwards and then my friend did it and I said, you're a god. Whatever. I said, I'm a god, oh my god, he even said, you're a god, and then I'm like, oh my god, you're a god, he said, I'm a god. It's really a fun, a fun experience. We were at Target last night, doing some school shopping, and I found a Mr. Meeseeks figure, oh, uh, Rick and Morty, camera. yeah, a Rick and Morty Mr. Meeseeks figure, so I bought that thing, and you yes. know how I was excited, I was like, finally I'm buying a toy that isn't a Funko, uh, one of the pop vinyl toys. And then I got it home, and I looked at the back, and I realized it is still made by Funko. <laughs> it's just not one of the pop vinyl figures. But and it, I is ca- it still came with a golf club. A little golf club. You can't even really. There you go. Golf club. And, and a, a gun. gun. Yep. Mr. Meeseeks is one of my favorite characters from that show. Let's talk what? about Rick and Morty for a just little, a second. I'm a little st- st- stickler. Yeah. So we watched. Six. You watched the new episode of Rick and Morty this week. I watched it three times. It was the Pickle Rick episode. I watched it twice. You watched it twice. Once with Tyler, and then once we with all everybody. watched it. With Drew and everybody. So I've started. I've, I'm basically at the point where every new episode of Rick and Morty I've watched three times. Yeah. And that's just. I still haven't seen this the season three episode one though. I still need to watch that one. Yeah. Was that, that one, a good episode? Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Was it better than Pickle Rick? No. Nothing's better no. than Pickle, Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick is, the best is, is one of my favorite yeah. episodes of the series so far. Yeah. That was hilarious. I thought, like, when they promoted the whole Pickle Rick thing, like, a couple months ago, everybody got into it, and I was like, it has to be, like, a short part of the episode. Like, he can't yeah. be a pickle He's a for pickle 22 the whole minutes. entire episode. And he is. He's a pickle the whole episode. And then the last, like, minute, he, he cocks, turns himself into yeah. it. He concocts this crazy armor out of 
dead rat brains and yeah he like whips the head and there's off, like this and then, like, hugely violent scene where he's like ripping guts out of all these rats in the sewer and then uses, one of, so he uses violent. one of the rats heads to build a whole entire like armor thing yeah to like weigh it down or something i don't even remember it's just so weird <laughs> and then while he's doing that the rest of the family was at family therapy and that was the guy that eats poop, and that was hilarious. How long have you guys eaten poop? We've the never <laughs> eaten poop. Now, where's my family gone off to? <laughs> the show is hands down one of the best shows on TV. That was right a really now. good impression. That was. That was really good. <laughs> I can't remember that guy's name. I, I can't. At first, I thought he was the vagina guy, but it wasn't. No, that's the He's, principal. Yeah, that's the principal. Yes. It's so weird. <laughs> yes, it is a very, very weird show. But it is so well done, so well written. The jokes are hilarious. Mama even laughed without us laughing once. It was crazy. Yeah. She doesn't particularly care for the show. And I don't, I don't she, know why. She, she laughs because it's, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah. She thinks it's really stupid and I don't know. It's hilarious. Though. Compared to the crap she watches, I don't know. She can't talk crap yeah. about anything. So it's, that's Rick she and Morty. Watches I love so that weird show. Crap. Just every reality TV show you could watch, you could think of, she watches it. <laughs> Kinda. I mean, she doesn't watch a ton of TV, but she watches, in my opinion, some yeah. stupid TV. But well, whatever. All right. So you wanted to tell these people about a couple video game things, also. Yeah. So we've talked about all CS before, and tell the people which what was that is. Rocket League Championship Series. We, wa- we talked about that a couple weeks ago, wasn't I? It was past 10, I know that. And now there's another RCS, which is season... Um, doom. Yeah, it's season 4 um, of RCS. And the open qualifiers are um, on the 17th. For It's a couple days for the U.S. It's this week, I'm pretty sure. And it's really dumb because I didn't enter because it's on Wednesday. And squad already started, and I did not want to take the chance of me entering and having to be disqualified for not showing up. So, I'm really mad. Like, why couldn't it start last Wednesday? <laughs> like, what the heck, people? What the heck, people? Yeah, what the heck, people? Even though I was just playing Rocket League, like, five minutes ago, as you were talking about. Oh, my God! Yep. Okay. And then also... Overwatch news. We already again already talked about Overwatch news, and now we're talking about more. Um, Deathmatch is now on the PTR. What's the PTR stand for? I forget. I don't know. It, we talked about. We even looked it up earlier. I don't remember. Um, it, it's the thing on um PC that's not on Xbox yet. Um, so I don't have. I'm not able to play it yet. So it's just team deathmatch, but in Overwatch, it's like it's more points based. It's like, I think it's like 10 minutes, and then after the 10 minutes, whoever has the most points, I think. It's not just kills, I think. I don't remember. I forget. I don't really listen to Jeff Kaplan that much. That's it. All right, then. Do you know who Jeff Kaplan is? Oh, I don't know who <laughs> Jeff Kaplan is. You got the name right. Yeah. <laughs> and that is, I'm um, pretty sure, the... Um, the, like, head of directory of Overwatch. Not of Blizzard, of just Overwatch. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Is that. that. It? I, yeah, I don't think we yeah, really got much it. else going on. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to tell people about the corn concert that I went to. <laughs> uh, it was last week, but we didn't do a show last week. Sorry for not doing a show last week. But uh, Sometimes we're just lazy. Sometimes we just don't feel like doing it. And it's our show, so we don't have to do it when we don't want to. Yep. And last weekend, we just didn't feel like doing it. That was it. And, but, oh, Mr. Meese. It was stopped. not like, uh, we're too busy. It was just, uh, you know what, we're, well, we're not that busy, yeah. so we don't really feel like doing it. Yeah. Uh, but me, we, yeah, yeah. What? Me, <laughs> <laughs> me and Liz uh, went to go see Corn a uh, week or two ago at River Bend, the big amphitheater. We had lawn seats. And it was pretty cool for her and oh, I. Oh, is that where we're going to go see Green Day? It is where we're going to go see oh. Green Day, yes. And we're out on the lawn for that as well. Yeah. So we got to go super early if we want to get good seats. Uh, yeah, we do. You're right. Um, so it was pretty exciting that we got to see Corn. Not that I'm really much of a Corn fan anymore, but back in the like mid to late 90s, I was about as big Corn fan as there was. Uh, so the first concert that Liz and I ever went to was Lollapalooza 1997, 
when Lollapalooza was still like a traveling tour thing. It wasn't just a one time a year in Chicago kind of thing. Like they went to all the different cities. You, you can't. Why don't you go to sh- that anymore? It's uh, in Chicago. Yeah, but it's just really expensive and, um, not expensive and a lot of ter- that much stop in? It was thirty five dollars. Thirty five dollars. <laughs> yeah. But there wasn't nearly as many bands as there is at Lollapalooza now. It was just a one-day thing with two stages is how it worked. And by the time 1997 came along, Lollapalooza was not very good anymore. It was much better in the early, mid-90s. It kind of dropped off that's r- towards that's the right end. Before, that's right after Green Day's Mud thing, right? Yeah, that was Woodstock 94 is what that was, yeah. I, rem- I remember you showing me that. That was yeah. crazy. Yes. That's a lot of mud. And then the they had to cover up crazy. all the... Yes. Um, things because the video was so in mud yeah. at the that happened stage. at Lollapalooza 97 when me and me and Liz went to that there was a big mud fight during Tool so we you, went did you throw mud? yes yeah um, did mama throw mud? yes yeah we got picked hold on hold on <laughs> so Lollapalooza 97 uh, Liz bought me tickets for my birthday it was the first time her and I ever went to a concert together and uh, Tool was playing Lollapalooza that year and Korn was playing that year and uh that was really the only two bands that were on the list that i cared about that we wanted to see and then we got there and like even before like we got through the gates there was signs up that said one of the dudes from corn is sick that he would not be playing that date so we never did get to see corn they didn't play and then after that i kind of didn't i wasn't into corn much anymore so i just never so went this to see is him the play first time that you've so seen yeah so that? this one uh and it was it was off by like a week and a half, but it was almost exactly 20 years wow. since we were supposed to see him the first time. Is that? Uh, is it like like right now? Is like, um. Yeah, because it was in July of uh July of '97 oh, okay. is when we went to Lollapalooza, and then it was early August of 2017 that we just went to go see Corn. It was a really good show. They played all the songs that you'd want to hear. That's crazy how close that is. Yeah, it was really. Do you cool. know the exact date? I'm guessing you have those uh, stubs somewhere around here. I do here. here. I posted it on Instagram. I can pull it up real quick. Right there. No, that's Bogarts. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh. You have to have it somewhere. Yeah, I do. It's right here in front of me. Tuesday, July 22nd, 1997 was the date that we went to Lollapalooza. Actually, it was $34. Is that that like upstairs? It's in in a box behind me. Uh, So that was Tuesday, July 22nd, and then we went to see them on August 1st. Wow. 2017. So that's I mean, crazy. it really is like crazy. a that's week like, off. That's like of 20. That's like eight exactly or nine days. Years. Yeah. That's crazy. So it was cool. So we finally got to see him, and I, it's it's not Liz's kind of music for sure anymore. And I'm not really that into him either. But it was a very fun nostalgia concert, and they put on a really good show. It was a very fun show. So it was cool that we finally got to see them. That's it, right? I think that's it. That is it. Got tickets for Queens of the Stone Age. Going to see them. We're going to see Green Day. When's when? Green Day? Uh, August twentieth. Green, yeah, Green Day is a <laughs> week from tomorrow. So you start school Monday, and then the following, just like five days, six days later, we'll go. Seven. I so know. Yeah, six days. Yeah. So that Sunday we'll go to Green Day. So. What time is that concert? It starts like seven or eight o'clock. Oh, okay, so I'll be very tired next Monday. Yeah, because the concert will end at 11, and it takes forever to get out of Riverbend. We probably won't be home till midnight or 1 in the morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. But we're good parents. We take our kids to concerts. It's a good yeah. family fun time. And it's Green time. Day. So it's Green Day. I'm we'll really be, looking we'll forward to it. We'll be headbanging. This is the only other concert that I've went to. Yeah. Yeah, so, this is like my second concert, right? Because yeah. we went to Paul Jam. Yeah. That was it, right? And you, just, Grace Potter, you saw Grace Potter. That doesn't Potter. count. I, okay. It so does then not. We were to, there for two seconds. All right. So you've been to Pearl Jam. <laughs> yes, Pearl Jam. Pittsburgh. We took you to Pittsburgh to see Pearl Jam. There has been. But you've one. seen other ones, like, local bands that have played. Like, you've gone and seen Wussy, Wussy a couple yeah. of different Wussy times. Wussy is, like, the only other one, um, really. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen anybody else. Okay. Wussy, but Pearl Jam's first, then Wussy, then now green day green day is a good thug one yeah i'm really looking forward to green day i've <laughs> yeah. seen green day once i saw him back in 1999 it was my senior maybe year of high school maybe the drunk high five guy will be there 
Hopefully. <laughs> I'm sure a drunk at Green Day, there will for yeah. sure be, be drunk. drunk people at the at, and Green Day. Because we'll that? be in so the like, lawn. That's a quick story. Yeah, go for it. So, there was, so when we went to Pearl Jam in 2013, um, there was this guy in front of us. We had like, it was like actual seats. On, it was like, at a big arena. It was, at it, the, was, it was where the Pittsburgh yeah. Penguins play hockey. So there was this guy in front of us that was like directly in front of me. And this guy was so drunk. Like, I could tell the first time that I saw him and he went for it to high-five me, I could tell he was drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so, he just kept, like, turning around and just, like, high five at me. He yeah. kept doing it. And then one time he left and then he never came back. <laughs> yeah, he left after, like, five songs and we yeah. never saw him again. I think his girlfriend, like, took him Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think they were just done. I think they yeah. left. I think he was too drunk. <laughs> he was. But there's always drunk people at concerts. So, yeah. anytime you go to concerts with us, that's... You t-shirt there. Wait, yeah. is that... Why doesn't my shirt actually say lightning bolt? It only says Pearl Jam. And it's not a tour shirt either. Why don't I have a lightning bolt shirt? I don't know. I'm, Tyler, okay. ha- Tyler has a tree one, right? I don't think I their shirts the, came from... Did we buy shirts at that concert? Yeah, and then we also bought posters. Yeah, we got I posters in a, a po- tube. I have a Pearl Jam shirt that's the two people talking the same Pearl yeah, Jam. Yeah, And then you have that one. You bought that at the show, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. And then I don't think Mama got one. Did she? I don't remember. I, and then I, I, don't know. I know we spent a lot of money at the merch booth that day, yes. but I don't. And and then we all got posters that we still don't. They're ever. still in we've tubes. Still, we've never. Do you know what they are? Yeah, no, exactly. I want to put them up in my room. We need a frame. You gotta get a frame. Oh Jesus! What did I just? Can't say? just hang those kind of posters <laughs> on the wall. They gotta be framed. Whatever. All right, are we done now? Yes, I think we are done. Oh my God. <laughs> let's let's be over with this. I'm tired. All right, see you later. Bye, Felicia's. So how long have you all been eating poop? We have never eaten poop. Oh, so where have I finally gone off to? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> that show is so freaking weird.